You think you know me. Hello everyone, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot and Change Trilogy Crash 1. Good luck, you're gonna need a Stormy Ascent. That's gonna be a great sign for this level. 56 boxes. Here we go. Stormy Ascent, the level was so difficult it was cut out from the game, the original game. It's still present in the prototype. So that's a thing. It's still in prototype, so if you download Crash Bandicoot prototype and emulate it on PS1, you can play play this gem. Or you can just buy this game and also play it. Actually made up there. Embryo! It's apparently our bonus round of for this evening. Apparently. And by the way, this is not this is a normal chant level, so if you die, I think you're okay. But if you want to add a challenge, then do this without dying. But good luck doing that. Also, apparently time trial is us. I mean, I would expect time trial to be us if the normal level is us. Also, I'm pretty sure you only get one shot with these birds. So there's that. Oh, that, that almost cocked me. Checkpoint! This level was all about just good timing on jumps. Doing the perfect time. I do remember birds having having major problem with the birds on this level. Oh god, you're gonna go down! I have to use my mask there. Because the platform was going to go down. Okay. Right, another mask. The last thing I want here is invincibility. Because that's going to screw me over even more than, you know, just normal level. Okay, is that timed to be that this ass? It is. So far, not too bad. So far. Which means it's going to go down the rabbit hole real quick. I mean, I definitely have more problems with the prototype with this level. Like, a lot more trouble with prototype. Is it because I've already used the controls? That can't be it. You actually have to... Do careful jumping here! Now you actually have to slide a bit. In order to get that. Because you can't go too fast. Perfect. And I promise, this is live comp, this is first try. I haven't edited this. I have not edited this at all. This is legit my first go of this. I've seen people struggle with this so much. And here I am doing it on my first try. Well, until this comes up, because this is death. Uh, um. Oh yeah, I remember. Haha. -ha. I remember this jumping us! Probably failed that, like a lot, but hey, give it a go anyway. That should be more than enough to break that. Yep, it is. More than enough to get me up here. That's probably a big wall of... It was! It was a big wall of that, but I was able to get through it. Unfortunately, 
I didn't realize that fast enough, unfortunately. Oh well. There goes my mask, there goes my insurance policy. Aha, oh, there we go. That's the way you're supposed to do it. Actually, that's not the way you're supposed to be. I cocked it up again. You wanna know how I cocked it up and why? Allow me to demonstrate. Just like that. Wait a minute, how do I have already three Wumpa Fruit when I, p before I've even started this? Just started that, I have three Wumpa Fruit already. This game. I'll leave that one for later, because I'll probably end up needing it. Actually, I do end up needing it. So I was cut from the beginning. You ass! You ass! Motherfuckers! Fuck you! Fuck you, game! With TNT. There we go. Right, back to the normal level. Now we have to deal with these four spinners. And we have to time this perfectly. By perfectly, I mean go now. An interesting there's nothing on the other side. It would make a lot of sense to get put maybe a box on the other side. But no, there's nothing there. No. This was a terrible idea. Let's try again. There we go. Go to the inside one. Oh, there's literally no point for the inside one. Got it. Stop with the rape whistles. Oh, I've seen this bit. Yeah, this if you if these are out of sync then you are in big trouble. Unle if they're not like that it's tricky, and you definitely cannot go fast enough if you start a little bit too late. You cannot go fast enough there. And once again, you just need to be slightly ahead of the timing, so you get the best timing possible. It would be nice to actually see where that... That also totally didn't hit me, so... I was here, it still hit me. I will not count that as as a death, because that clearly didn't hit me. Oh, now we have to deal with the sideway birds. Stop with the rape whistles. Seriously, music. Okay, that's my first official death, got it. So I cannot do this without dying. Already forgot about that. That that one I will count because I completely com forgot about that. So yeah, can't do this Tommy Ascent first try on my first try. No way. Go away. That's the way you're supposed to do it, oh god. Alright, you're the platform that is going to get me across. I said get me across, perfect. And now we have the triple sideway birds. I can't remember what's the timing for this, that's a lag spike. That's definitely not a good timing for that one. Not gonna make it. Probably gonna make it if I actually even connected the last jump. 
Hey, pity mask. I never get pity masks. Usually because they take a l you you have to die a lot more than six times to get a pity mask. That's probably the reason why I never get them. You are going to get me a cross. I said, get me a cross. Perfect. Let's try this again. Not quite enough. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Stormy sent down. It wasn't that bad, really. Definitely not that bad. 27. 27, 102%. Right, before we go to the Great Hall and actually end Crash 1, let's go and take a look at the time trial and how that thing works. Well, clearly, the only... The best way to do it is Insanity Beach. Clearly. Oh, now we actually get to see the Coco Cat scene when you start the game. Alright, let's go! Time trial! Go! First things first, throw that across. Break a time box somewhere. I didn't see. Go. Moving on. Oh, those, those actually count as time boxes now. Got it. Already failed it, though, so doesn't matter. Go through that. Get another time hit. Jump across these. Break those. Hey, fake crash. Bit busy here. <laughs> I like how I just casually say, hey, fake crash, bit busy. And I'm guessing this is gonna be a good time stop here, if I can... Right, 2765. And gold. I knew. I knew it would be gold. Do I actually have to do this? I usually don't bother with this. I really would normally don't bother with this. Fine. Um, fine, LOP then. Because I can't have space there. There we go, LOP. So that's time trials. You just go through the level as fast as possible. That's literally the time trial right there. I'm not gonna show it for every single level because... Really, there is no point showing it because there's nothing here. Like, nothing at all. What is the target time to beat? 2576. It wasn't that far off. It was really far off, actually. Oh well. I'll try it some other time, like on my own. But right now, we still have one more level to do, one final challenge. And we'll be done. And holy crap, this took less than just over three hours to beat. I guess if you really suck at this game, aka every single other person apparently, this can take a bit of a while. But for me, well, my total recording is up to, well, it's a little bit over 3 hours, 1 hour and 50 is the time right now, and I, I, I put hour 30 minutes in the first recording. So just over 3 hours, and that was me just when I, when I stopped giving a crap at some point. But yeah, if I really try to focus, I could probably beat this in hour 3 hours. Oh, they actually do this as well. 
I'm not sure if these are actually the same as they were in the first one. I doubt they are. Actually, I think they actually are. Same. This after stories. Because that was the price for 100% in this game. You get to see this. So it's, it's a nice touch that they brought it back. Doesn't have any point because, you know, we take Papu Papu is out, Kola Kong is out, Pinstripe is out, Embryo, well... That's that. He's gone insane and Cordex is, yeah, gone. Until next game, at least. And Ripperoo, well, Ripperoo, the backstory is is interesting because his boss in Crash 2 kind of reflects what what was put on there, which is kind of interesting. I'll be honest. And now we go back to Wumpa Islands. There we go. We've hundred percent the game. We can actually go and check. Save as a slow test lab. I loosely don't give a flying fuck. The lap, 300th of a second is the top time. Totally legit, I guess. 10 seconds, 27. Yeah, what to do? Like, yeah, 700th of a second. Totally legit time. Totally. But yeah, there you go. 102%, 27 gems. Everything else is done. I'm not gonna bother with time trials in this LP. I'll be, I'll be doing them on my own. Because they don't unlock anything, so there's no real point. I may get another percent, but I really don't consider that to be worth your time. Really don't. Oh, wait. You can actually spin around. It's circle and square. You actually get to spin around the map. Nice. Good thing. That was back. That was brought back. Perfect. Excellent. Good thing. Right. That does it for Crash Bandicoot 1. It only took three and a half hours to beat. Like, it's not that long. So, I guess that's that for that, that game. Next up, we'll start working towards Crash Bandicoot 2. And considering that this is my favorite game of the bunch, alongside this, this should be a blast to play. And apparently the controls are pretty same, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. I, I say that, and I just remember called Hard Crash. That's gonna be fun to do. Anyway, that guys watching, next time we'll start Crash Bandicoot 2 Codex Strikes Back.